Maniac Cop. You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> How do you guys like that poster, Maniac Cop? It's awesome in it, one of my favorite films of all time. You have the right to remain silent. Forever. Fucking amazing. Amazing movie. One of my favorites, though. This light is kind of giving me a seizure, so let me just turn that off. Red. Or blue. Let's go with red. Fits my hat. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I rewatched Mania Cop with this fantastic Arrow video release. Really good release. Great poster too. So be on the lookout for that poster being in the next five videos. Just like with the Frank Hanukkah poster back when I uh, reviewed that one. I'll put a link over there if you want to check that review out. It's a really cool review. No promises made though. So let's start the review by reading the synopsis from IMDb. A killer dressed in a police uniform begins murdering innocent people on the street of New York City. Kind of an odd review because it doesn't just completely ignores the fact that the maniac cop wants to set up Bruce Campbell's character as the killer. But whatever, I guess. Good enough. I love the fact that this movie came together by Larry Cohen being a fan of Maniac and wondering why I never did a sequel and him coming up with the concept of a maniac cop and a tagline, you have the right to remain silent. Forever, which I, I can't get over that fucking tagline. That's the best tagline in horror history. The movie starts off with like a few different kills in New York City, and the mood and atmosphere in this movie is great. It's fantastic, really. And I think New York really becomes almost like a part of, of the character and the movie throughout these three films, but it's definitely set up really well in the first one. The kills are pretty decent, they're not out of the ordinary or anything, or something you have never seen before. They're just average skills, pretty good ones, and because it's a cop, it's really awesome. The characters are so good, they're really good, really enjoyable. Bruce Campbell makes for a great protagonist, and Robert Zadar does a fantastic job as the maniac cop. The score is really chilling. Killer's motive is really awesome too, you get like a flashback of how he ended up like that, and the score in that scene is just fantastic, really. Climax is awesome, it sets up a sequel and everything. You got everything you need from a, from a slasher film. This is one of my favorites of all time. So, I'm gonna give Maniac Cop 9 Dr. Peppers out of 10. So yeah, there you have it. My thoughts on Maniac Cop. Fantastic film. If you have not seen it yet, go check it out. Go watch Maniac Cop 2 as well. Because that one is even better. And that's one of my favorite films of all time. That movie is so good. <laughs> See you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be